I'm not saying the sprink, sprinkling or pouring. It's not the way we should do. It's okay. Because it symbolizes anyway Jesus' death and resurrection. But what God says in the Bible is baptism. You need to go under the water. That's what Jesus did. Jesus made himself as a good example for his follower to do the exactly the same thing. But from this historical fact, we do that. Okay? So, okay. Emphasis on outward expression of inward faith through immersion. Okay? It's a way for you and I to show I have a faith. I am a follower of Jesus Christ. Faith we cannot see. It's a spiritual thing. And Jesus said in Matthew 7, according to their fruit in their lifestyles, we would know they are truly born again Christians or not. So faith we cannot see. But, according to how we live, whether we bear fruits every day or not. Number two, for publicly announcing that I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. Okay? Boldly we announce, I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. And I didn't write it here, but at the same time, we declare to cosmic word, Satan, I don't belong to you. You have no business with me now. I just bleach the contract. Okay? So you cannot come into my life. Now, Jesus Christ will protect me, provide me, guide me, and nurture me, and direct me into the right path. Okay, number three, promising that I read Bible and live according to His words. This is very important. You promise to God between you and God. It's a personal contract. Because we don't see Jesus Christ. That's why He gave us the word. So we read and we understand through the help of the Holy Spirit and we're trying to live that way to get to heaven. So that is a baptism. It's not just a symbol, it's not just a ritual, part of ritual in the church. No, if you're a Christian, baptism means a lot. Christians. It shows who you are in Christ. It shows you have all the power that God has in your life. See, that's how we should live. And we have to show ourselves to the world. Hey, I'm a Christ follower. That's why we need to always pray against evil power. Now because we don't belong to Him, they're just coming constantly to distract us, to destroy us. So we need to be aware. We have a spiritual war. We have a battle constantly. So we need to declare, we need to use the power of name only name that God has given us, Jesus Christ. Amen. And with His blood, we defeat them. See, that much baptism means as a spiritual power and spiritual meaning. So how many of you never experienced to go into the water? Only one? Everyone experienced? Baptism or just... Baptism or... 
Water sprinkling? Okay. All right. Good to know. <laughs> so Easter is coming up. This week is a Passion Week. I'm going to distribute a piece of paper that shows uh, how Jesus walked through this week. So this week, just humble ourselves and try to meditate the reference that I gave you and walk with Jesus. Today, 2,000 couple of years ago, he entered Jerusalem. And then, day by day, his activity, you just follow his trace and just walked with him until Friday. Okay? So, that is a baptism. Hopefully you understand okay, what God says in the Bible. What is the meaning of baptism? Now I am His follower. Now I made a personal contract with God that I am going to live according to your standard. Not my standard, not either worldly standard, but your standard. So help me, Lord, because He has given us the Holy Spirit to live that way. So we could do it. It's a matter of our determination and action. Whether I want to do it or not. Let's pray.